Hello everyone, um, and this is going to be another segment of my tips and tricks. Um, this is in response to a video that's been going around on YouTube about a portable altar bag, and it's it shows you how to make about a <coughs> sorry about a medium sized altar bag, um, and you put a bunch of natural things in it, and it can serve as a portable altar. Um, now I wanted to tell well first of all you don't need any of that stuff, um, but like I said in my previous video people are materialistic and we want something and I also think that having altar tools help you to um, visualize what you're doing better they help you visualize the element that you're calling and visualize the god and the goddess um, so I wanted to show you three um, extremely small ones that I have made because there is no limit to how small you can make an altar um, I've made them that fit in, in the inside of a matchbox before um, I've made them where you know the mechanical pencils and and some of the pins you can pull them apart and there's that little compartment inside I've made them fit in there before um, so it's super easy to do um, here's the first one this is just one of those little bubbles that you get out of a quarter machine um, and it spits out a toy or a piece of jewelry um, and real quick I'll show you what's in it this is just stuff that I found around my house in the last ten minutes literally um, so for the god and the goddess I have a tea light, just a white solid colored um, candle. You can also use that as a spell candle if you're wanting to do a spell and, and um, use something else as the god and the goddess or not use anything at all. Um, for earth, I have a snowflake obsidian tumble stone. For air, I have a little bell. And this little bell, you can get a pack of like 50 of them at Walmart for a dollar fifty, <coughs> and they'll fit in just about anything. For fire, I have a carnelian. For water, I have a gorgeous little seashell. For and um, I also have an incense cone, which is always useful to have. And then I also have, a lot of people don't think of this when they're making an altar bag, but I also have an offering. This is a dried, uh, a rather large dried hibiscus flower. Um, and that's good for when um, you're out uh, doing things, um, you're doing a ritual, or you're just out walking, um, and you decide that uh, you really like that rock right over there, or you really like this twig. You want to try to make it into a wand when you get home, or, or whatever it is. Um, then uh, you want to leave an offering for that. So that's perfect for that. This one, uh, ladies, this can fit in your purse. Uh, this can fit in a backpack, in a glove compartment, in your car. Um, pretty much anywhere. Now here's one that's smaller. Um, and you can see that one wasn't even full. So uh, you can put tons of stuff in there. This one's not even full either. Um, this is an old Midol bottle, so ladies, um, or men, uh, Excedrin, or, or Tom's, or there's a ton of stuff that comes in these tiny little bottles, um, and inside of this one, I have, now actually, I'm going to show you guys fire last on this one, um, because it's really cool, um, for, uh, let me get this out, there we go, for, um, the God and the Goddess, I have two small clear quartz stones. For Earth, I have a hematite crystal. For Air, I have the same little jingle bell. And now for Fire, um, I'll show you guys Fire last. For Water, I have another little seashell. This one's even smaller than the last one. I have another incense cone. This one's a little bit smaller than the first one and a medium sized hibiscus flower that's been dried for an offering now this is what I wanted to show you guys for fire tiny tiny little candle um, this was actually a little bigger um, when I first cut it but I just cut the top off of a chime candle and used a little piece of cloth to make the bottom smooth um, now what you can do with this is you can go out and find an acorn or use one that you already have that has one of the little pokey sharp things on the back of it take this acorn top and kind of screw it down into the earth of uh, this kind of motion and it will stick um, and then what you can do is you can light this little candle it's going to be kind of dangerous now that it's so small um, and I blew it out but you can light it and drip oh probably about 
about two to three drops of wax in here. I'll do three, three. And then you can take this candle and stick it in the bottom of the acorn and it will stand up and stick. So you can set that anywhere and not have to worry about catching yourself on fire or anything else. I'll let it cool off before I stick it back in there. I don't want to melt my plastic bottle. Okay. And you can leave it stuck on there or you can take it off. Um, it still fits in the bottle either way. Screw the top back on and you're done. Now here's my smallest one yet. Um, and I'm still going to push it and see how small I can really get these. Um, but I got this at the Dollar Tree. They came in a pack of eight or eight or ten. I think it was eight for a dollar. Um, and they're only about as round as a quarter. Um, I don't know if you can see, but they're only about as big as a quarter. Um, and I have everything in it. Um, and here's what it is. Open it up. And I have a tiny incense cone. I just kind of snip the top off of it a little bit. It still works. And then I have the same offering, actually, a dried hibiscus flower, but it's just a little tiny piece of one. Just itty bitty tiny. Then for the god and the goddess, I have an amethyst because um, purple is typically for um, the upper chakras um, and. Uh, communicating with deities and um, working in the astral and uh, metaphysical abilities and things like that. So I think that works very well for the god and the goddess. Now here's where we're starting to get really, really tiny. Um, for Earth, I have an itty bitty little 10 cent citrine. It was so small. Um, for um, Air, I have the same little bell. They're so small. For fire, now this one, I don't even know if you'll be able to see this one. Let me put it over my pale face. Um, this is a uh, tiny, 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 tiny garnet. And uh, that's pretty much the only one that they had at the shop that I went to, but I thought I would find a use for it eventually, and lo and behold, I did. And probably the smallest seashell you'll ever see in your life. Um, I found it at a creek. Um, when I went swimming um, and it's actually a little spiral <laughs> you can see that alright I guess um, but that's for water and everything <coughs> excuse me everything fits perfectly in this tiny little jar <coughs> now I'm really gonna try to push it uh, and I'm really gonna see how small I can really get um, and still have um, something for the god and the goddess, all four elements, um, some type of cleansing agent like an incense or a salt or um, something like that, and, um, and an offering. Uh, and if I can get any smaller than this, um, I will definitely let you guys know. Um, this could fit in your pocket. Um, so definitely uh, let me know if you find this helpful um, or if you made anything similar to this. I would love to see it. Um, and we'll see you next time. Blessed be.